Hello, I'm here to talk to you about why you should take GCSE French. The myths that you can see on the screen are ones that I've heard billions of times before from several students at Hodgeville College. I'm never going to go to France. Why do you have to learn a language? Everyone speaks English anyway. It's too hard. However, there are numerous reasons why French is good for you, not just for the next couple of years of your GCSE, but also for your future. Right, let's get the boring bit out of the way. So, in terms of topics, you can see that there are five different units that you study throughout years 10 and 11. Now the beauty of these is that you've studied several of them in Key Stage 3, so you have a base of knowledge which you just need to build upon with the complexity of French GCC language. So for example, if you look at Module 1, Daily Life, we've done things like reflexive verbs, we talk about that. If you look at Module 2 in Year 9, you've done the topic of holidays. In Module 3, you can see school needed that in Year 8, and it's things that you're interested in. Module 4, it's really linked nicely because it talks about the world of work, so you can link that nicely to your actual thinking plans what you're going to be doing after Hodgeville College. And Module 5 is a really nice topic because it allows you to look at Francophone countries and so not just where French is spoken in France, but other ones such as Canada or any part of Africa, and you get to look at their cultural differences. In terms of assessment, you'll take four exams and they will all be taken within Year 11. So that'll be listening, reading, writing and speaking. For preparation, we do numerous, we call them yellow sheet assessments during year 10 and year 11 to prepare you for these alongside your mock exams. You'll also notice that the exams that you've been doing in Key Stage 3 have all been based around listening, reading, writing and speaking. So you've got an idea around the kind of topics and assessments that you'll be doing at GCC level. I'm now going to give you some reasons why I think you should say we oui to French. So language skills are in high demand with employers. The job market is extremely competitive at the moment, but language skills can set you apart from other applicants. The UK has officially left the EU, however, we are still trading with our neighbours, and in particular with France, therefore it's crucial that we can speak the language of French in order to be able to deal successfully with them. Speaking a language opens up new and exciting career options. So if you ever thought about wanting to travel as part of your job, you want to live abroad, experience new cultures, then cultural awareness is something you'll gain from this, and it is highly sought after by top employers. Around 75% of the world does not actually speak English, therefore, being able to converse with someone in their own language means that they are more likely to want to do business with you, and you'll gain a lot of respect from your international colleagues. Now, learning a language develops several skills, including communication. From a job point of view, a language will help you with things like negotiating, making decisions, solving problems, but it will also help you with resilience. Learning the language is very difficult and you will, you will make mistakes. Therefore, it's important that you bounce back from them and show resilience to just carry on. And finally, you'll be able to explore new cultures and meet new people. You'll have an understanding of diversity and cultural awareness, and therefore that will allow you to adapt to new situations as well as working independently and within a team. Continuing this theme of why French will be useful for your future. Now, the Russell Universities, which are 24 leading UK universities, call French a facilitating subject. Now these are the subjects most commonly required or preferred by university to get onto a range of degree courses and many of the top universities will ask you to have at least one A level in a facilitating subject when you apply. Now from a job point of view, as you can see British businesses have shown you four stats which demonstrate how important languages are for them. But I think the most important thing is the fact that these employers don't expect you or require you to be fluent in the language, that is wanting to have conversational skills and therefore that will demonstrate and help you to build new relationships and make new contracts. In the pink box are just five jobs and sectors which are useful for languages. So things like interpreting, journalism, law, sales and logistics are just some of the jobs. There are numerous jobs which aren't exactly linked to languages. However, a language is very useful and sales would be an example of one of them. And finally, as you can see by the graph, it demonstrates that there is a monetary advantage to speaking a different language. Just to summarise finally, taking GCSE French will improve your soft skills such as communication, organisation and resilience immeasurably. It has the potential to boost your earning power with a future job and it will allow you to travel, study and work abroad. It will improve and challenge yourself and by that I mean learning a language is very difficult. Therefore, if you have some success in it, it shows that you're a hardworking and empathetic individual. And finally, it will give you a better understanding of other cultures and languages but also your own culture and language.